What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm bringing you a video about combinators. So what I'm going to do is create an effects combinator that if you also do this, it will speed up your workflow a lot. Because when making beats, we often use the same effects. So this is going to show you how to have those handy so you don't have to set it up and go through a bunch of stuff every time. So what I'm going to do is, as an example, I'm going to route these to a new output bus. Call it Melody Group. And then I'm going to create a combinator in here, which will be under Utilities. And then I'm going to add four of my favorite effects. Okay, I've added four effects. I have Hap Time, Looperator, Glitch 2, and uh, Deja Vu Meeker effects. So now what I'm going to do is click on the show programmer button and then I get this modulation routing section. So what I want to do is be able to automate the the on and off switch right here with these buttons for each of these. So what I'm going to do is name these buttons. Now that I've named my buttons, I'm going to go click on halftime in this device so I can get its separate modulation routing section. And for button 1, I'm going to click on Enabled, and this is an important step. I'm going to drag the minimum up to 1 so that clicking this button cannot turn it off. It'll only have it on and bypass. So the minimum is 1 and the maximum is 0. And I'm going to do the same thing for Looperator, except it's going to be button 2, Enabled. Drag this up to 1. The reason we're dragging it up to 1 is so that if it's on off, there won't be any sound coming through, and we want to be able to hear our sound coming through. So button 3 for glitch 2. Drag this up to 1. Button 4 for deja vu. Enabled. Drag this up to on. It'll be different for different plugins, rack extensions, whatever you have. Following that, when I click these buttons, you'll see it either go bypass or on. See it happen in here. Glitch 2, bypass or on. Meeker, bypass or on. And that's what we want. So if it's lit up, that means it is off. The better term for it is bypass. Because like I said, if it's off, you won't get any sound out. So next, I want to do something with these rotaries, and I want to route some specific effects to those rotaries. So I want to have slice and loop going to rotary 1, and what I'm routing there is going to be these wet knobs. So I want to be able to modulate the amount with those rotaries. So I'm going to modulate these with 1, rotary 1, the filter with rotary 2, and then this effects 1 with 3, and effects 2 with 4. I'm going to initialize this also. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on Looperator. The source is Rotary 1 here. The target is going to be Group 1 Slice. And I'm going to have another instance of Rotary 1, Group 1 Loop. And it's going to be different for each VST plugin that you have. Whatever you're trying to automate may be in a different place, so you may have to look and search for it. Next, I want to automate the filter. Forgot the T. So I'm going to come here, Rotary 2, Group 1, Mix Filter. And next, I said I wanted to do Effects 1, and Effects 1 in Looperator has tape stop and that's what I usually use in there so I'm just gonna name it tape stop so that I know later on. Rotary 4 is the vinyl effect. The scratches. So rotary 3 as the source group 1 effects 1 then rotary 4 Group 1, Effects 2. So now, if I open Looperator, click on Keep It Open, 
and move these, I can see my knobs. Tape stop, vinyl, and everything is fully operatable from these buttons and I don't have to open these up and change anything besides putting in the sequencing and the programming of the effects myself. So now what I'm going to do is save this patch and I'm going to save it as Effects Melody 3 because I already have two of them. And I'm going to going to delete this. And I'm going to drop this inside my melody group. And it is routed. So that's with everything on. So if these buttons are on, if they're lit up, that means it's off. It's kind of backwards, but that's what it means. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can easily just automate. So I'm going to click Edit Automation. That's going to create an automation clip for it. Edit Automation. Edit Automation for everything. And now when I hit Record, Everything is there so that takes time away from having to create automation clips and draw everything in you just automate it turn it on turn it off whenever you want it to do that and then you can fix this quantize setting right here to however you want it to snap so that's all I have for you today if you have any questions about routing or anything like that just let me know uh, I respond to all my messages if you like this video give it a like comment, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. See you next time.